this video, you're going to get a sneak peek into one of my live singing lessons. So let's sing something. La la la! Okay, so I have you down as audio. You're in my Facebook group, right? You look. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. You're new, though. You're new. Yes. Okay. All right. I was like, I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what are we going to work on? Usually, what I like people to do is just sing a little bit of a song that you would like to practice, and then I kind of give you some guiding tips and things like that. You guys that are watching, you are more than welcome to put your questions in the chat, and then I will also bring those up um, as you're kind of participating. In. It's White Flag by Dido. Ooh. I yes. remember that song. <clears throat> Let's try this. Okay. <laughs> and I don't have the music, so. You're doing um, fine. I'll, I'll start at the beginning, okay. I know you think that I shouldn't still love you. I'll tell you that. So right off the bat, when I hear your speaking voice, your speaking voice comes right out and it's very clear. You actually have a very nice, loud, commanding speaking voice that travels really well. But as soon as you start to sing, you pull back. So there's this, there's this thing inside the throat called an epiglottis. And basically mm -hmm. its job is to close off the tube that goes down to your lungs so food and water doesn't get into your lungs. Yours slightly closes when you're singing. Mm -hmm. So um, I should have known that. It said, I should have known that. I should have known that. It's kind of close just a little bit. I mean, I'm over exaggerating okay. right now. No, no, no. But that will get in your way as we get higher up in notes. Or if you want to start belting or you want to do something difficult, it may feel sometimes like you're singing, you just hit this wall and you yeah. can't sing past the wall. And so you push more and then you hit more wall and then you've got these things hanging out. That's the epiglottis is closing and it's closing up that passageway for that voice. So one of the cool things that you can do since your speaking voice happens to be really good um, is to speak and then sing. So you're going to take the, what's the first sentence that you, the part of the song? I know you think that. Okay. So you did perfect right there. <laughs> I have to coach you in this week. I know you think that. So I use my hands and I think of the words coming out and flying across the room. You're going to speak the words and then you're going to sing the words. I'm going to give an example. I may have the wrong notes, but you'll get the gist of it. So yeah. I think that you should. I think that you that should. You should. And so what you're doing here is you're trying to trick your brain into thinking it's speaking with notes attached to it. Okay. Because when you tell your brain that you're singing, it has a muscle memory of closing off that epiglottis. So this is a way of us kind of tricking the voice into thinking it's speaking with notes attached. So you're gonna say it once and then immediately say it again, happen to attach some notes to it. Okay, okay. I think that you should I think that you should. Good. So oh. do it again. Yeah. <laughs> to make it a little easier that already. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you should. And again, speaking voice, notes happen to be attached. Okay. I think that you should. I think that you should. There you go. So okay. you hear how it popped everything open and it should mm -hmm. feel like it, like it became lighter and easier. So my homework for you with this is to start breaking down this song, speak, then sing, speak, then sing, and kind of alternate between that and start to get used to the feeling of it opening up and being easy. Because the number one thing that I find with a lot of new singers is they think it's hard and it's actually not supposed to be hard. Even hitting really high notes when they're done correctly should feel like it's just open space and it's actually not as hard. We make it look harder and we change the sound because culturally we like that sound. So we add that in later. Um, so just know, get used to that feeling of an opening, feeling of it's just as easy as talking and know that that's what you wanna tap into. So then when you start to close up or when you have breath support problems or high note problems, just reapproach it, 
speak it, speak it like a Disney cartoon, and then <laughs> attach some notes to it. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. Click here to download my free warm ups, cheat sheets, and other awesome goodies. Click here to check out my other singing sessions and come hang out with me in my Facebook group. The link is down below, and I will see you in the next song. La la la.